This video gives an overview of our paper, Continuum Traffic Simulation, from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. This paper was written by Jason Sewell, David Wilkie, Paul Merrill, and Ming Lin. Traffic is an integral part of our world. Accurate, scalable simulation of traffic flows can improve safety and efficiency and aid us in populating realistic virtual worlds. Most traffic simulation today is done with agent-based methods. These techniques model the decisions of each vehicle's driver, focusing computation on collision avoidance and route planning. Our technique uses density of traffic to evolve the flow in time. We divide each road into cells the length of many vehicles. We then focus computation on each cell rather than individual vehicles. Our method is unique in using a continuum formulation in addition to maintaining information about each vehicle. This has allowed us to propose a novel method for describing lane changing and merging behavior that uses both the continuum model and vehicle information. Additionally, due to the nature of the continuum solver, our method is easily parallelized to large scales. We have demonstrated that a serial version of our technique is much faster than agent-based methods for dense traffic situations. This graph compares the performance of a modern agent-based technique with our method. For lower densities, the agent-based SUMO traffic simulator is approximately twice as fast as our technique. For high densities of traffic, our method is nearly 50 times faster. The following videos demonstrate the results of our traffic simulation method in several scenarios. This scenario shows traffic flowing on a cloverleaf highway interchange. We observe moderately dense traffic flowing in both directions. Vehicles are free to overtake one another and must adjust their speed according to that of the vehicle directly ahead of them. In general, vehicles in areas of high density must drive slowly. When pockets of lower density appear, vehicles accelerate to fill the space. Here, we see traffic near a freeway off-ramp. Vehicles will change lanes in our simulation when traffic in a neighboring lane appears to be faster moving and less dense, and also to be routed to a different road. We use a probability model for each off-ramp to decide the desirability of taking the exit. This final scenario shows a flyover of a cloverleaf interchange. We observe lane changes, merges, and traffic adjusting its velocity according to the conditions ahead. 